Hello everyone, Shayna here. Welcome to my first baking video of 2018. We're gonna start off with something really easy, no bake. Today it is a Rocky Road, a really simple Rocky Road. Uh, I'm making it gluten-free because I'm using gluten-free cookies. You can make it uh, lactose-free if you use like margarine, vegan if you use like a different alternative. Um, really easy and I'll just take you through the ingredients now. Also, uh, this is the first video where I've used this mic. so. Let me know how the sound is. I hope it works. It's a little finicky, but we'll see how it turns out. I've got in a big mixing bowl here, 350 grams of chocolate. Uh, I ran out of dark chocolate, so I've got a mixture of milk chocolate chips in there as well. And 150 grams of butter. Again, you could use margarine if you wanted to. You also need 150 grams of mini marshmallows, 150 grams of cookies. You can use whatever you prefer. I'm using a gluten-free like animal cracker, arrowroot type thing. You could use graham crackers. Um, I know in the UK they use digestive cookies. So just something really plain. And then as you're like add-ins to your uh, Rocky Road, you can kind of use whatever you want. Um, I'm going with chopped pecans and some chopped white chocolate. And then to help hold it together, I have four tablespoons of corn syrup. You could also use golden syrup. You could use clear corn syrup, whatever you have on hand. So we are going to start by melting the butter and the chocolate in a mixing bowl until it is nice and smooth. Make sure you do it in like 30 second intervals so you don't burn the chocolate. Give it a stir and back in the microwave for 30 more seconds. So once you have a smooth creamy chocolate mixture, you're going to pour in and completely mix in your corn syrup. You want to make sure you work fairly quickly so that your chocolate doesn't set. And now we're just going to throw everything else in and make sure it's completely coated in chocolate. So you got your cookies, your marshmallows, and then your fillings. I've got pecans and white chocolate. So once everything is coated in chocolate here, you're just going to put it into a pre-lined uh, baking sheet. I'm using eight by eight. Squish it flat and then let it set for, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to take at least half an hour to set. Okay, so this has been in the fridge for, it's actually been about an hour. It could probably sit a little bit longer. Um, but I'm just going to cut it now. And it got a little squish, so it doesn't look as nice as it could, but hopefully it tastes really good. How many pieces do I cut this into? Like 20? 16? I guess it depends how big you want to eat them. Right, there we are. Look at how the different layers, all the marshmallow and chocolate. Oh, it could probably set a little longer. I'd say like, I don't know, like an hour and a half, maybe two hours to give it. Mmm. Marshmallow, sorry, you're gonna hear crunches. Marshmallow is like my favorite thing, baking anything with it, marshmallow white chocolate. It is a little bit buttery buttery, buttery -er, more buttery than I expected it to be. So it's very rich. Probably smaller pieces would be good. And I think it might taste a little bit better if you used mostly dark chocolate too, but I ran out of dark, so it's mostly milk. But yeah, there you have it. Really super easy Rocky Road cookies, squares, I guess you'd call them. Um, let me know if you make them, what you think of them. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys, I guess on Sunday with my regular weekly vlog.